moving into my current hometown where I currently live, the Indianapolis Colts. Let me tell you, I don't really know what the buzz is around here. It just kind of feels like, oh, the Colts. It's just, it's just kind of what it feels it's like. Oh, Joe Flacco could be our quarterback, and Jonathan Taylor's there, and Michael Pittman got a deal. Like, there's no hype around this team whatsoever. But there is a lot of hype for Anthony Richardson at quarterback five, which we'll talk about later because Mr. Ryan does not like him. Also, same coach, same offense, Shane Steichen calling the plays. Uh, Joe Flacco, quarterback 37, ADP. He was brought over uh, off his mother's couch from the Cleveland Browns. I love it. That is where he is now. Jonathan Taylor, RB4. Evan Hull, his backup, uh, who will see a lot of time as the RB73. And then Trey Sermon is the RB74. Jonathan Taylor has zero competition in this backfield. It is him. And Evan Hull will simply be his, oh, Jonathan, you need a breather? Oh, I heard. Out. I recently read Trey Sermon is outplaying Evan Hull. Yeah, For that's sure. why, like, when yeah. I saw these rankings, I'm like, really? People are taking Hull over Sermon? Yeah, that's okay. shocking. I agree. I agree. I literally just went in order the depth chart. I agree. Oh, Trey yeah. Sermon's yeah. better <laughs> by far. Michael Pittman, wide receiver 24. Adonai Mitchell. Formerly known as AD, wide receiver 57. Josh Downs, 62. Alec Pierce, wide receiver 120. And Anthony Gould, wide receiver 5. No answer. He's not being drafted. I say Scott Fishbowl. Scott Fishy. Jelani Woods, tight end 28. And Kylan Granson currently not being drafted. We will start at the tight end position. Yeah. For the for the second time we go to that position. Because Mr. Matt Donnelly wants to talk about Jelani Woods. At tight end 28, You're saying tight end saw 32% target share with Anthony Richardson versus 19% with Minshew. So if Richardson's healthy, you really love Jelani Woods here. I do. And what's not to love about it? You, we just talked about A.T. Perry being six foot five and giving Ryan all kinds of wet dreams over here. Jelani well, I love myself a good tight end. Six foot seven. Six foot seven. That's two more inches, Ryan. And every That's inch a lot. counts all the time. That's a lot. Yeah. Size some, matters, folks. That is, <laughs> some say that some, that's enormous. Pounds. Matt, some say some say that's too much. If you ask yeah. some people, <laughs> four six one forty at the combine. This he's guy, insane. he's an athlete. We talked about Shane, Shane Steichen here. Was talking about him earlier. Big body tight end that can run vertical routes, run the shells, run the deep cross. It's awesome. See, obviously, he's a matchup for a defense that they got to prepare for. That's coming right from Steichen. Who else do they got there in, in Indianapolis? I mean, Will Malroy, Malroy. I mean, Malroy doesn't. Oh. No, stop it right now. Will Mallory. If, the, only on the only thing that can stop the only thing that can stop Jelani Woods is Jelani Woods himself, right? The and injuries. The, that's and, well, that's what's stopping him. <laughs> Will Will Mallory sounds like the physical therapist Jelani Woods goes to for his knee problems. probably. Yeah. It's probably that whole like Tanya Harding take out the knee type thing there. That's the only way Mallory's going to get on the field there with Jelani Woods. I, I thought, love Woods. Tight end 28. I, I mean, he's the he's number great. one tight end there in Indianapolis. And if Anthony Richardson is going to be that QB5 that the ADP's currently got him at, which is a little bit higher than where I've got him at, 32% target share to the tight end position. Volume matters. If That's that crazy. volume is going to, if we're going to see any of that, if Jelani Woods even gets 25% of a target share, 20% of a target share, that's going to put him up in elite status for targets. It's going to be Michael Pittman. We know what he got. I think he got like 29% there, uh, the target share with Anthony Richardson, maybe I think 26 with Garner Minshew. But you know Pittman is going to get his. By the way, I love myself some Michael Pittman. I think that our wide receiver 24 is a horrible number for him. But Jelani Woods is a nice – every year we see a tight end rise from the ashes of the tight end wasteland that is. And this is going to be that Jelani Woods Phoenix-type moment for the tight ends in fantasy. Let the man eat. I mean, <laughs> Let he, him eat. He, at like 6'7", 260. He runs a 4'6", is insane. Yeah. He is an – if there's an athlete out there, that is that is one right there. He is a power forward playing tight end. With the, the, He has the athleticism of an NBA player. It's yeah, insane. I love it. Uh, it, it. Fuck it. I mean, we, we always talk on this show, Ryan brings up all the time because he does his stream of the weeks. 
Jelani Woods, I can guarantee you for Ryan, is probably going to see a lot of stream of the weeks 100%. this year. If he's healthy, 100%. Yeah. I mean, Will Mallory made my list last year at points. So. Did he? Oh, yeah. Towards he, he, the end of the season, sometimes. he was getting involved. So. Jeez, okay. How about that? Well, they uh, ran like seven tight ends last year, and Woods wasn't yeah, even did. a part of that group. They were all over the place. So. Before we go into who Ryan, I'm sure, will spend enough time on, um, and I know the show is going to go over, but Josh, give me a little quick hit on Jonathan Taylor. He's RB4 this year. Yeah, it's hard to not love Jonathan Taylor. He's been the RB1 in fantasy, 1,800 yards, 18 touchdowns in his rookie, or his second year in the league, or almost 3,000 rushing yards combined his first two years. He dealt with some injuries the last couple of years, so I feel like some people might be forgetting about it, but probably not if he's the RB4, right? But here's the thing you love. Shane Steichen... The last three years, his rushing offenses have ranked starting in 2021, first overall, fifth overall, 10th overall. Some might choose to look at it as they've gotten progressively worse. I look at it as with a healthy Anthony Richardson, this could be the number one rushing offense in the NFL. When you have a talented running back like Jonathan Taylor with a quarterback that runs the football like Anthony Richardson, that is only going to open up more rushing lanes. Jonathan Taylor, if healthy, has a clear path to over 1,500 yards and honestly, probably 15 rushing touchdowns as well. That's a top three, probably the RB1 in fantasy, regardless of how many uh, passes that he ultimately catches, which I think is probably going to be in the 30 range. He has now dropped to RB5. He's actually at the top end of the second round. Screaming value. Screaming value. Jameer Gibbs has jumped him to RB4. So Jonathan Taylor currently RB five uh, sitting three spots ahead in terms of overall being drafted ahead of Saquon Barkley at RB six, which also feels like a little bit of an oversight there. So uh, the running backs definitely getting a little bit of disrespect with all the receiving game happening yeah. in recent years. And who brings up, I read about the Colts offense and a new article coming soon to Club Fantasy. Friday. I believe that Friday. will drop on Friday. Drop on I know Friday. the schedule. Go me, baby. So, <laughs> Ryan, I'm sure Hoove is going to talk about this guy. Oh. And this is going to be the most interesting game of Would You Rather Ever because I think we might get to the double-digit points of time where we might be talking about we'd like this guy over Anthony Richardson. He's the QB5 currently, and Josh dropped – our Gator dropped, excuse me, Field Yates has him as the yes. quarterback – three in fantasy football Fucking ass yikes so the issue with anthony richardson right now is the extrapolation game because everybody is looking at what he did last year and the easiest thing to do is just take a game off because he essentially two of his games he left at halftime so you could say he played three games though i think he only actually finished start to finish one game last season but we won't get into all that so he basically played three games last year and when you look at his numbers, they extrapolate to your very typical rushing quarterback, except for one number. So when you look at the passing numbers, you can multiply by five. So you're looking at roughly 200 or 420 pass attempts for a rushing quarterback makes sense. I did the math on a 17 game season with his attempts. He would have been at about 3,200 yards. Gardner Minshew had 3,300. It makes sense. Rushing attempts, 125. That makes sense when you look at guys like Lamar Jackson. Rushing yards is probably low because he only extrapolates out to like 650. But then you get to rushing touchdowns. And in his three games, he scored four. And you can't, if you're looking at that and thinking my man is going to score 20 rushing touchdowns, you're out of your fucking mind. And that's what it's going to take for him to jump up to these numbers where people routinely, my great friends over at Football Guys, I might be the only person who does not have him as a top five quarterback over there. I don't have him as a top 10 quarterback. Same. Um, yeah. <laughs> I can't get into this for two major reasons. We saw the upside. We certainly saw the upside, but we saw the downside. And you need to consider that when you're making this. The Colts did. They went out and got Joe Flacco after seeing what he did. I can't imagine a scenario where he plays 17 games. I can't imagine a scenario where he scores the 20 touchdowns. It's going to take for him to be a top five quarterback. He is going to be a fun fantasy option. You better draft a backup quarterback if you're going to take Anthony Richardson. And then I agree with Matt. I like Michael Pittman a lot and the targets should be there. I haven't seen enough Anthony Richardson to know what that means. Pittman from weeks one through five, the, the 
Richardson weeks. But again, we can't even call them that because he didn't play every game. He was the wide receiver 22 in fantasy. That's still safe based on where he's being drafted right now. It's the rest of the guys we need to be worried about. So I'm going to be real interested to read Hoob's article on A.D. Mitchell. Josh Downs was the wide receiver 44. Alec Pierce was the wide receiver 93. Dumb. Pittman had his best game and his worst game with Anthony Richardson during that span. We didn't even get to see him play with Jonathan Taylor. So we have no idea what any of this looks like. Colts running backs only scored three rushing touchdowns while Anthony Richardson was the quarterback. So there's so many unknowns with this Colts offense in general. Pittman, I'm okay with an ADP. I am not touching. Well, let me be clear. Johnny Woods, if you're playing the streaming game at tight end, perfect option at the free at the end of your draft. But these guys with with mid-round ADPs, it, it's too risky with this guy at quarterback. This is how we're going to end before we're going into the bets. Is a would you rather, because I think this is insane some of the names he is being put in the conversation with currently a quarterback five so i normally go the two guys ahead of him so he would be three and four those guys are lamar jackson and patrick mahomes if you're taking anthony richardson over either of those guys you i want to be in your league no 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 no. we want to play in a league with you yeah we want to play in a league with you one (laughs) two you need to get hit by a car and slammed into a brick wall to make sure your head's screwed on correctly. Because what the fuck are you doing? I know Mahomes had a down season, but exactly. Put the watermelon helmet on and get ready to run through a brick wall head first. Because you clearly have hit too many field goal posts like Matt has. That is, you are, woohoo, that is crazy. So we're going to skip that part. And what we're going to do here is we're going to do the same thing we did with Zamir White. Is I'm going to say a name. And if you would take Anthony Richardson over this guy, speak up. C.J. Stroud, quarterback six. I'm just going to go to sleep. You're not going to. I was going to say, I'm not going to say anything for Ryan. I'm also looking at Josh and Matt. Kyler Murray. Joe Burrow. Dak Prescott. Jordan Love. You get into two rookies where you can have conversation, Jaden Daniels and Caleb Williams. Jaden Daniels is the interesting one. That's an overdraft. Jaden Daniels and Anthony Richardson could be the exact same player. I would take Richardson over Jaden Daniels. I would too. I would too. I'm, I, I, I'd take Daniels over Caleb Williams too. So I mean, and that's that's why like the, Ooh, Caleb so that's Williams, like the, I'm way higher on. Yeah. The 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 rookies is a weird one because right we don't we don't know what's going to happen. Yep. Brock uh, Brock Purdy. That's a close one for me. I've I've got Richardson just a little bit ahead because of that rushing upside. Yeah, that's but fair. Purdy needs some respect. I mean, Purdy yeah. is a QB one. And I don't think we talk about that nearly enough in fantasy. Trevor Lawrence. Yeah, I, I'd put him over Trevor Lawrence. Interesting. Yeah, I, I have T Law. I, I have T Law higher in my rankings, but I think at that point, like I, I have zero issue taking a rich just because of the perceived. So up. that's what and that's how I'm trying to yeah. play this game because rankings wise, I would say no to just about everyone except right. Jaden Daniels. But even looking at him, Trevor Lawrence, I think, is like my cutoff point where I would every time. No, he's not. Honestly, Anthony Richardson is my QB 15. All 14 people I have ahead of him, every time I would take them over Anthony. Currently quarterback 15 to a tug of Iloa. He's my 13. Yep. That was to say, that's where it gets really, I mean, Brock Purdy to a tug of Iloa and uh, Anthony Richardson are all in that same area for me where you can make an argument for any one of them, depending on what you want from your position, safety or. And that's such a good point because Joe, you were even shocked a few weeks ago when I mentioned that Tua led the league in passing yards. And so like, it didn't feel that way. No. (laughs) Yeah. Like what? No. Uh, and then you're getting into Jared Goff, Justin Herbert, this Kirk is Cousins. So Herbert, I would still put over him. I have turned a page on Herbert and moved him up. But the Jared Goff thing, that's where I'm with these guys, where I have Richardson ahead of him and I would take him ahead of them. So the I would still Jared take Goff. Off. I know exactly what I'm getting out of Jared Goff. His, his first nine games. At home or on the road. In a dome. Ah, His first nine games are in a he dome. He plays oh. like 15 games I was indoors say, this year. Yeah, it's I, so it doesn't matter insane. whether it's away or not. Like Jared Goff's a house cat. He's not a jungle cat. He can't go outside. He can't <laughs> do that. That's my that. point. Oh, 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 more than half that. of his road games this year are indoors. <laughs> yep. I agree with that. So 
Uh, obviously, I, I don't think any of us are thinking Anthony Richardson is a fifth round pick where he's currently being That's drafted. The, he's just, and so, he's going every draft in the entire world. One out of 12 guys sees Anthony Richardson that way. And his ADP is not going to move. And like, if you're in a league with me, you can, let, you can wait till the ninth <laughs> before I would even consider it. And I'm still, I, I would have taken another guy. I'll take Jordan Love or Dak Prescott in the eighth every single draft. So. And that's where I was going to say Anthony Richardson, if we're to put him at Jaden Daniels, Caleb Williams territory is the ninth round. If you want to add Brock Purdy as the 10th round. That's, and that's where he belongs. If you put him there, I would shut the fuck up about it, but it's just not but, where it is. Right but now. to me, would you, would you want to wait three more rounds for uh, Kirk Cousins? Would you want to wait four more yeah, rounds? And Matt, I got, I got the ick as well. <laughs> it's like, but, yeah, but again, but hey, uh, you, would you wait four more rounds for Aaron Rodgers if you believe he's going to play all seventeen games? I fucking hate Aaron. Rodgers. I fucking hate Aaron Rodgers too. But there's going to be people that are going to say, "Yeah, I would, I would wait." That's so, a better game. We're way over, so I'm not going to get. That's a better game. Is the late round guys I would wait for if he was in the ninth round? But I don't want to talk about Anthony Richardson. Anymore. No, that I mean, yeah, but I that. Mean, th- we, we don't need to because we literally covered every guy fucking five yeah. through 20 because th- th- there's, a, th- th- first off, six through 10, he has no business even being in the same conversation. Exactly. That's my thing. Is when this you is the look same thing these... we went through with, with Justin Fields. The guy can't pass. Did you but... guys see on Field Yates's post? Someone went and pulled this exact post from last year where he had Fields <laughs> as the top five quarterback. This is the same <laughs> thing. It's like rushing can only get you so far. And Anthony Richardson is a very different type of runner. He's yeah. not a Fields or a Lamar Jackson that is galloping down the field. He's, He's a, a bruiser, bruiser like Cam Newton Hurts. and Jalen Hurts. Yeah. The, and yes. Jalen Hurts is a six to 700 yard guy. With a lot of touchdowns, sure, and I get that. But Jalen Hurts, when he was doing this, was throwing 3,600 yards, right? When you look at the top 20 rushing outputs of quarterbacks over the years, they're not high-end passing volume seasons. And more to the point, they have a lot of starts under their belt when they did it. Anthony Richardson has like three or four career starts. Four. We're a year too early on Anthony and, Richardson if and he one, gets to this point. And one career finish. Yeah. yeah. He's just, we're <laughs> hey, way, finish it, way, finishing's hard. Way okay? too early. Not everyone can finish. Okay. Finishing's hard. Philip Rivers has no problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 17 <laughs> times, yeah. maybe. Dude, that man has a that man has a full fucking starting lineup. Yeah. But to to just to compare him to the guy who is true, like that's his call. Cam Newton is fully this man's call. hundred percent. This is who he is. But in today's NFL, they want to comp him to Hertz and Lamar Jackson. And 100%. Not who he is. Not it. But he, he's, he's Cam Newton. Cam Newton, I believe was a better passer coming out. He, 100%. he had his struggles, but he's a better passer in worlds ahead. I think a better runner. I think Cam Newton only had Richardson. one season over like 62% completion percentage. I was literally just, what, definitely. I was literally just going to look but, that up. John. And I but, think that was his MVP season. It was, but on the ground, he was a fucking menace oh, on the 100%. ground. Yeah. Which like, again, Anthony Richardson is so far away from that, but Cam Newton also, I don't believe he was coming in with like pre-existing injuries and shit like that. That was really going to complicate. And he didn't miss his full fucking rookie season. So no. like he had 4,000 yards. This year. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, Cam, Cam Newton played every game until his fourth season. I'm just happen to have it up right now. Played most games, never went out to Josh's point. He flirted. It was every other season above 60, below 60, above 60, below yeah. 60 on his completion. Percentage. He was, just, he was rich built, last year in those four games was at 59.5. And a half. He was, he's just built like a fucking fridge in Richardson while he is, is just more injury prone. So, uh, it very interesting bets to finish it off. Ryan, you have the Colts score one rushing touchdown in every game of the regular season. This is plus 9,000 on FanDuel. And that I, is wild. I actually, like that actually love that fucking, bet. I do too. Yeah. yeah I, I love, that, love that bet. If Anthony Richardson plays every game. That's a lot. He could play it 14 or 13 games as long as Jonathan Taylor is healthy. They're hitting this mark. Oh my god. That's that's a great bet. That is an yeah. awesome bet. 10 10 bucks to win 900. Sure. Lock, <laughs> lock me in on that one. Uh Josh, if Anthony Richardson under 3200 and a half passing yards. This is literally what I was talking about. Just way 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 too high. 
one of the best dual threat quarterbacks ever, not named Cam Newton. Um, Michael Vick, I think, hit 3,200 like three times in his career. So yeah. <laughs> it's it's not happening, folks. There's no, unless Anthony Richardson turns that's the thing. into it's just MVP not this Cam Newton. Year. That's no. the thing. People are trying to hype him up way too soon. Even Jalen Hurts didn't take this big of a jump his second year in the league. It was the no, third year. three. Year. Yeah, year and, three. And, and, we are and, way too early on a And I always point out to people, we don't hate players. We hate ADPs. It's the ADP sure. is the problem. So. Sure. Yeah, because I love what Anthony Richardson could become. But he was a reach at fourth overall because of the upside in the Shane Steichen offense that we saw from Jalen Hurts. But he was very unpolished even coming out of Florida. He's not getting more polished having sat out for 13 games this past year. It doesn't work that way. Hertz was unpolished coming out of Bama, moving to Oklahoma. He was a little more polished, but it took some time in Philly. Matt, you have Pittman, as you mentioned. You love Pittman, over 950 and a half receiving yards. It's minus 110 on draft kings. Matt, can you can you gamble in Canada? Is that was that legal? Can you gamble? Dude, I gamble every winter in Canada. I, I don't wear pants until it's <laughs> minus 50. Okay. Hell yeah. That ain't happening Hell up yeah. here. I'll tell you Hell what. Yeah. I got, he's, not, he's not wearing pants. That until... might be the best line we've had on NPI in quite some time. No <laughs> he's offense, not John. wearing <laughs> pants until icicles are hanging from his sack. That's the lats when he puts pants on. All right. He's out there, watermelon hat, and just pasties just to block the nipples, just in case. And everything else, free balling. So I, I grow my winter coat nice and thick here for the winter season, so we don't have to worry about a whole heck of a lot. Oh, I was going to say. But whether this. you think Richardson's QB1 or QB20, I don't think yes. it affects what Pittman's going to do. You Correct. look at what he did last season, like 140 targets, 90 receptions. If, if that's this floor, if that is Pittman's floor, 90 receptions, averaging about 10.6 yards per reception, that there puts about 954 yards, if I did my math correct. So yeah. his floor is already over that number. And then you add in the whole Joe. Say Richardson misses. Oh, no, J- Richardson's going to miss. The Colts can run the ball with Jonathan Taylor, which means the play-action passer rating of Joe Flacco at 121.3, that comes into effect. Only Brock Purdy, I think, had a higher passer rating out of play-action than Joe Flacco, the comeback player of the year. So whether it's Flacco, whether it's Richardson, it don't matter. Pittman's going to get his. If, if it's Flacco, Pittman gets it in six games. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Amari Cooper dropped 300 in a game with yep. Joe Flacco. Michael Pittman can do that as well. 100%. So, yeah, if, if Anthony Richardson gets hurt, I think that actually helps Michael Pittman's over bet way more. And Hollywood. Those odds oh, will yeah. change. If, if Richardson were a preseason injury, that bet will be off the books immediately. Immediately. Yep. Immediately. Or his over jumps to like 1,200, and then you're having a conversation there. But yeah, that if Flacco's in, it's easily over 1,000. 